Hello, this is Artyom from Xarial and in today's video I will demonstrate how to propagate and reconcile custom properties from SolidWorks template file into existing SolidWorks files in a batch mode. I will be using Properties Plus module from Cut Plus toolset for SolidWorks, which will allow to do that in just few clicks. Here I have a couple of SolidWorks part documents which have different set of custom properties. I also have a template part file which has all the properties I will need to propagate to all of my existing part documents. So let me create new part file with a template and you can see that all the properties I want to propagate to my existing SolidWorks part documents. As a first step I'm going to navigate to the folder where my projects are. So I have multiple projects here. And the first step that I would recommend and before doing any batch operation is to make a backup copy of your documents. So I'm just going to select all three folders and zip them into the archive. This will allow me to restore my files if I do something wrong. As a next step, I'm going to navigate to my default templates location to copy the template file into my target folder. I can just paste the path here, copy part template prt dot and come back to my previous folder and simply paste it here. I have done that so I can load all of the properties including my template parts in a single operation using Properties Plus. I can activate that command by navigating to the context menu directly in my Windows File Explorer and selecting Properties Plus command. And the custom property of my template file have been loaded into the grid. I have only one row because by default it loads the files from top level only. I can activate the cell to see the underlying value. So if the cell corresponds to expression, you're going to see that expression. Now let me load all files by selecting the corresponding option. Now all the files and all the custom properties of those files have been loaded into the grid. If custom property is not present for the specific file, it will be marked as null in the corresponding cell. We can also load custom properties for assemblies, drawings, configurations and cut lists. In our case, template file is loaded first because it was the only top level file in our directory. But in some cases you might have loaded thousands of files and your template file is not the first. So in this case you can use filter box to find this file. I can mark that row by clicking on the header. And when I clear the filter, that highlight will stay, so it will help me to find my template file in the grid. In order to propagate custom properties, I simply need to select my row, click on copy expression or control C hotkey, select all the cells I want to propagate and click paste or control V. As a result, we have different icons indicating the state of our custom property. Pencil indicates that this property has been modified in the target file. Asterisk means that this property is new to this file and will be added. Striked out properties will be removed from the corresponding document. If we are happy with the result, we can click save button to save our files. As you can see, it only takes several seconds to save all of those modifications in several dozens of files. Properties Plus will not use SolarWorks API directly to write those properties into the files, which means that you don't even need to have SolarWorks installed to perform this operation. And Properties Plus can process thousands of files in a matter of seconds. Let's now open our SolarWorks files and validate the results. So as you can see, all of our custom properties have been reconciled and now matching the template file. But what if it is required to keep existing properties and only add the properties which are missing? So in the next part of my video, I'm going to demonstrate how to do that. At first, let me restore my previous versions of the files. So I'm just going to unzip my archive and overwrite my existing files. So now we have just restored the original custom properties. So let me activate properties plus command again. So as you can see, all of my custom properties have been restored. And if I highlight part template, you can see there are two properties which are not present here. So I'm just going to hide them. The next step, I'm going to export all of my properties into Excel because it will be much easier for me to manipulate the custom properties in Excel environment. So let me now open that Excel and let's do some modifications. 
Now I'm going to write a simple Excel formula, which is going to apply logic to select the existing value or the value from my template. I will be using if function to test the condition. So I have two possible outcomes. My cell could be blank. And in this case, I'm just going to use the value from the corresponding cell in a template. Otherwise, I'm just going to use the value of the cell itself. To test if the cell is empty or not, I'm going to use is blank function. I just need to provide the reference to the cell. Now, if is blank is true, I'm going to use the value of the template, which is in my case is D2. Otherwise, I'm just going to use the value itself, which is D3. I'm going to propagate this cell for all columns and all rows. And to do it effectively, I'm going to lock the row position of my template. So I'm just going to put a dollar sign in front of a 2. And as you see, for this cell, it is going to use the value from my template. Now I just need to propagate this to all columns. So I have uh, six columns altogether. So I can just drag it over here. And now I can simply drag that row to all of my rows. So this formula will be applied to each individual cell and will bring the corresponding value from a template or from the cell itself. Now I can just copy those values and simply paste them into my original grid. I will need to paste them as values. Now I can simply remove my calculations from here. Otherwise it won't let me import it back to properties plus. One last thing, I need to remove the background from the cells, which I'm going to import back by applying no fill or just selecting the normal style. Properties plus will only import the cells which do not have background. Now I can save this Excel file and click import properties command to bring all of these properties into my properties plus grid. Now let's just inspect quickly the properties which have been imported. So you can see some of the properties stay unchanged. Let's click save to propagate all of the changes to our files. We can now open uh, documents in SOLIDWORKS and inspect the changes. So unlike previous case, all of our existing property stay the same. But as you can see, now we have a couple of duplicates. So we have part no and part number, as well as mass and weight. So you most likely want to reconcile those properties and remove those duplicates. And I'm going to show how to do that in the next part of the video. I will close all our part files and navigate to Windows File Explorer and activate properties plus command again. So I'm going to load all of the files. And here are properties I'm interested in is a mass and weight. So mass is a property I'm going to keep and weight is a property I'm going to delete. So all of my mass will be just a formula. So just to be safe, I'm going to copy my mass property and propagate it to all of the file in my grid. So I can just select this from here, click Ctrl C, select all of my cells and click Ctrl V. So maybe there is no changes here because all these properties were already set. Now I can select the weight property and click remove properties command to delete this custom property. I will also need to do similar things for part number. So I'm going to keep a part number property and part no as needs to be copied to my part number column. So what I'm going to do is in a similar way, I'm just going to copy all of the cells from my part number column. Now when I paste those part numbers into my first part number column, you can see some of these properties got deleted because they are not present in my part now. And I can just simply revert those changes to keep them as a dash. In this case, I don't have that many files, so you probably can just quickly go and revert individual cells. But if you have more files, you can export those to Excel and perform similar operations as in the previous part of the video to adjust those custom properties. So when I'm done, I can just delete that part no column and click save to apply the changes. When finished, I can close my properties plus window and activate those parts in SOLIDWORKS. And as you can see, now there is no duplicate custom property, so you have 
only mass and part number and if I open my second part and uh, that had part number before so I just want to make sure that this now is registered against part number custom property thank you for your time you can find more information about properties plus by following the link in the description of this video